It's red hot. It's mesmerizing. This is the process of making glass. And Guardian Industries is a global leader when it comes to creating the most innovative glass on the planet. Guardian employs more than 1,000 people in Michigan alone. And the workforce is growing. We have uh, plants in 26 countries on five continents. Even though we do have plants overseas, we add jobs in Michigan because all of our research and development and product development is centralized here in Michigan. You see Guardian Glass everywhere. It's all over your home, in commercial buildings across Michigan and around the world. It even covers the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai. The company has close to 400 patents, and a lot of the advanced glass Guardian creates comes from this plant in Carleton, Michigan, and is exported around the world. This is our furnace. This is where we turn sand into glass. The furnace holds about 1,600 tons of glass. It heats up to as high as 2,930 degrees. Once we start a furnace up, it runs continuously 24-7, 365 for as many as 17 years. Yes, you heard them. They turn sand into glass using what's called the float glass process. There are a few other ingredients involved, and it's a lot trickier than you might think. First, the sand and other additives are fed from a batch hopper into the scorching hot furnace. As it moves along, water-cooled stirs help keep the temperature in the batch homogenous. It passes through a canal under a tweel stone, which can be raised and lowered to regulate the flow. This is the main artery, where the glass becomes what's referred to as a ribbon. This next part is fascinating. The melted glass flows onto a melted tin bath and spreads out into the width and thickness of a customer's specific order. The head of the machine stretches it while heating elements in the roof regulate the temperature and pressure. Workers monitor the process from a control room 24-7. When the glass exits the tin bath, it is now about 1100 degrees. This is the first time the glass is solid enough to break. The ribbon next enters the lair, where it rides over rollers and cools. The glass passes under temperature sensors, then through a laser inspection to ensure the highest quality standards. Next it is scored, first north to south, then east to west. It passes over a bump roll, which frees the glass along the first score. Then the edge trim is knocked off and recycled. Workers dressed head to toe for safety package the smaller glass while the giant ones are handled by robots before it all gets shipped out. Here at the Carleton plant, we ship glass across North America and around the world, including Asia, Africa, Europe, and South America. Guardian's the leader when it comes to high-performance glass, like tempered glass, which is stronger and shatters into small fragments rather than slivers, which prevents major injuries. Then there are the specialty coatings which are applied by Guardian's high-tech sputter coating. The coatings are designed for specific combinations of energy efficiency, appearance, and light transparency. Next to the Carleton plant is Guardian's Science and Technology Center, where they are creating glass of the future. This dynamic glass will allow you to regulate the transparency for privacy and energy efficiency. And see these tiny dots in this window? This is vacuum insulated glass. Tiny glass pillars separate the panes, creating a vacuum that makes this glass as insulated as the walls of your home. And Guardian has many more inventions on the horizon. This year we're celebrating our 80th anniversary. So we celebrate the past, we celebrate our success, but the best days of Guardian are ahead of us.